Hello and welcome back to Cleverness. My name is Michelle and today I'd like to share with you part two of my massive book haul. Um, recently I was very lucky to be invited to the Storm Your Imagination event hosted by OUP to celebrate two of their big titles this year. And the first was Storm and Stone by Joss Sterling. Um, Joss was there and she was able to tell us some um, a bit about her new book and we had a little detective quiz and it was all very exciting and then she of course signed my copy and gave us some really interesting little tidbits about this new series. This, uh, the first in a series of four books coming soon. Um, also Nikki Sheehan was there, the author of Who Framed Clarice Cliff. Um, and again, she read some of her book and told us some of her inspirations for writing this book about um, imaginary friends. And I swear to God, her um, the story that she told about the three imaginary friends that members of her family have um, had, just it, it gave me the, the chills. Um, and part of our goodie bag, we also received rep um, Replica by Jack Heath. Um, this, I think this might be the cover here and it's about a girl who wakes up with all of her memories gone and the only person who knows anything about her um, is somebody who looks just like her. Ah, sounds really interesting. And also The Private Blog of Joe Cowley by Ben Davis which is meant to be very very humorous about a boy who starts a blog and she's, he's trying to change you know who he is. Um, he's got the n nickname of Puke Skywalker and um, he's not treated very well in school and um, but it's meant to be really funny so I'm looking forward to that. And we also got this really interesting looking um, notebook with a question mark um, like the question mark in Who Framed Clarice Cliff. So um, it was a really wonderful event. I was able to meet Nikki Sheehan and Josh Sterling and loads of other bloggers and the really great publicist at OUP. And um, I was really, really excited about that entire event. It was really wonderful. Um, I came home that day um, to The Worst Girlfriend in the World by Sarah Manning, the new YA book by one of my favourite authors and I was so so excited. It's about two best friends fighting over a boy and oh, I can't wait to read it. Um, I also got this book, Flirty Dancing by Jenny McLaughlin, which is being billed as Dirty Dancing Meets Geek Girl, which just sounds really super cute. And then there's also Take Back the Skies by Lucy Saxon, which is um, a fantasy adventure series, or the start of one anyway. <coughs> this is what the, the actual cover will look like there. I got this book, um, it's actually called Mutant, by, Mutant City by Steve Feasy, which is published by Bloomsbury in May. Um, are you pure or are you mutant? And these two books arrived today. This is The Glass Bird Girl by Esme Carr. It's, I think it's set in Russia. Um, it's set in a boarding school, but it's like now. Um, I love the cover. Um, I wish I could show that to you. It's really, really pretty and I'm very much looking forward to this one. And also Where the Rock Slits the Sky by Philip Webb. Um, in which I think the earth stops rotating um, and this girl is setting out to try to get it to start spinning and save her father and um, I really can't wait coming out from Chicken House soon. So. Hello, I filmed the previous book haul ages ago and it's taken me so long to edit and upload that video that I thought that I would squeeze in some more books, so here we go. I also received The Assassin's Blade by uh, Sarah J Moss, a prequel to the Throne of Glass series and I'm really, really excited to read this one. I got Amy and Matthew, A Love Story by Cami McGovern. Um, this was sent from Macmillan and it came with these really, really cute little Amy and Matthew sweets there. 
this is a love story with sort of a difference to it and um, I've heard really good things about it already. I love this cover. I also received uh, Deeper by Robin York, a new adult title in which um, the main character's ex-boyfriend uploads some naked sexy pictures to a website um, about revenge porn and I've already read this one and I really really loved it so watch out for a review soon. I also received The Year of the Rat by Claire Furness. The rat in the story is the main character's little sister and I'm expecting to read this one very very soon. I also received Goddess by Laura Powell. This is set in a future London um, in which there's some sort of Greek mythology thrown into the world. Um, it's quite a bright cover. Um, another UK way author, um, author of a witch series and now she's taken on Greek mythology so it sounds really interesting. I also received The Madness by Alison Rattle and I'm really excited to read this one. I've not read anything by Alison Rattle before and I love this beautiful atmospheric cover. Tribute by Ellen Renner, this great cover by Hotkey Books. It's about magic and revenge and I cannot wait to read it. It sounds amazing. I also received Fire and the Flood by Victoria Scott. Uh, this one's about a girl who enters this really dangerous competition in order to save her little brother who is dying and it sounds really exciting and adventurous, so yay! And finally I received this absolutely beautiful uh, finished hardback copy of The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. Um, this book sounds so magical and beautiful and isn't that a great cover? I love it. Those are the books that I've been receiving over the last few weeks. Please do share in comments what you've been receiving and let me know where you think I should start with all of these books.